Hello everyone, we are going to be taking notes and this is gonna be page 13. So on the bottom here, we're gonna write page 13. Uh, and this is gonna be rocks. So let's set up our notes for Cornell notes. We got our line down the side and we have two lines across the top. And then our little section over here where I'm gonna put my name and the date, it's gonna be 9, 27, 21. Uh, and our topic for today, like I said, is rocks. So let's put rocks up here. All right. So last time we talked about minerals and how, um, what makes up a mineral and stuff like that and how to identify them and it's great, but um, what we're gonna find out for today, our essential question is how do rocks form? How do rocks form? Well, first off, um, let's talk about how to identify rocks. So let's write up top here, identifying rocks. And there are four different ways that we're gonna do that. So let's underline that. And the first one is our composition. And this is looking what are the minerals in the rock. Because rocks are just minerals. So it could be like one mineral or a bunch of different kinds of minerals all together. So that's the composition. Uh, the next one that actually just kind of helps with figuring out what minerals it is, is the color. So helps determine the mineral. Minerals. Okay, next one is texture. The texture is like how it feels or um, whether it's coarse or fine grain. So let's write down coarse with an A. Coarse or fine grain. And you can kind of think of this like sandpaper. So if I have coarse grain sound sandpaper, those particles on the sandpaper are super big and they're like, you could see them. Um, they're, they're very gritty, um, but the fine grain sandpaper has very, very little particles on it and um, it's smoother. So it's not as, not as big chunks. So that's the texture. And then the origin, this might be one of the more important ones, I suppose. The origin is how the rock is actually formed. So then how do we, how do we form the rocks? So that's the next thing we're gonna talk about. So how the rocks form. So that's the origin. Okay, so the next thing we need to talk about is formation. So let's write formation and underline it. And then there's three different ways uh, that rocks can be formed or changed or uh, altered in some sort of way. So the first one we're gonna talk about is igneous. We learned from Bill Nye that that means something about fire because ignite or um, yeah, something about that first part is dealing with fire. And that works out really well because this is dealing with cooled magma or lava. So let's draw a little picture of a volcano over here. I suppose we can have like the, the part that has like all the um, lava or magma, magma down here, and then the lava comes out. Pew 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 pew. Um, and it actually, I think it comes out in a bunch of different places, not just the top. And that can cause, you know, magma, lava. But yeah, that causes a bunch of different igneous rocks. Uh, and then the next one we're going to talk about is sedimentary rock. 
And this one is built up of a bunch of small particles or pieces of rock. And small pieces of rock are what we're going to basically call sediment, which is why it's called sedimentary rock, the small pieces of rock. And they're all pressed and cemented together. So they're squished and then kind of just almost glued in a way together so that they end up forming this kind of rock. Let's draw a picture of a rock. Okay, and then this one is going to have all of the lines and they might be different colors, but that's how it forms. It just goes in layers. And so that's what that rock is gonna kind of look like. And uh, there's a place out in North Dakota that if you drive through there, uh, it's called the Painting Canyon. And that's what the whole area looks like. It's just big layers of um, different colored rock because it's been that way or it formed that way because of sediment. And then the last one is metamorphic and this one happens underground so metamorphic rock so this is rock let's see is changed by heat and pressure So this is going to happen. Oh, that's a C K. Uh, rock is changed by heat and pressure. So that's going to happen underground, uh, under the crust, or even in the mantle. Uh, with all that heat and pressure, it's going to change the kind of rock it is, and sometimes even chemically, which is pretty neat. And with these three together, they actually work together in something called a rock cycle. And this whole thing is a process, this rock cycle. So let's put process on the surface. And the crust. And in the mantle. Slowly changing rocks. So it might be sedimentary rock at one point, but then it goes into maybe some heat and pressure and becomes now a metamorphic rock. And then it heats up even more and it turns into some magma and then it comes out of as lava. So it's like a process that keeps going and going. So let's draw a picture, or let's try to anyway, of what it might look as a rock cycle. So let's put sediment, or sedimentary, that's the kind of rock. And then we could do metamorphic down here. And then up here we'll have igneous. Now they're spread out a little bit, so we can draw some other arrows in between. So if I take some sedimentary rock and I apply some heat and pressure, there's two S's here, that's going to turn into a metamorphic rock. Same thing for igneous rock. So let's do another one kind of like this. Heat and pressure. All right, well, that's not a circle. So let's work on that. So metamorphic rock, if I heat it up too much, it'll melt. And that turns into that igneous rock. Okay, so we're almost at a circle. Um, metamorphic rock doesn't have to melt though. If it's just pushed up, it could turn into some more of the sedimentary rock. So it's something called uplift. And that's where you'll see like some of the the buttes or mesas sometimes they'll look like that or uh what is that one called devil's tower i think in south dakota 
uh, igneous rock will turn into sedimentary rock through a process called weathering and erosion, which we haven't talked about yet, but that's the next thing on the list. Or it's coming up anyway. Hope I underline this. Okay, so anyway, we have this kind of outer circle and then this kind of inner circle where it kind of all kind of goes together. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, everything we're going to talk about for rocks for today. Uh, but yeah, this is page 13.